Hello everyone. There are thousands of medicine in a medical shop, but the chemist will find any medicine in matter of seconds, right? So that is the beauty of proper arrangement. Talking about elements, there are 118 known elements, but not every element is absolutely unique in all aspects. There are many similarities between several elements too. Hence, scientists try to arrange the elements into groups based on similar properties. And the arrangement is meant to relate different elements so that we can remember the properties of all the elements by remembering the properties of fewer elements only. A brilliant idea. But that task wasn't as simple as it sounds. You know, in the year 1817, Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner, a German chemist, tried to arrange the elements in group of threes and call those triads. When the elements in a triad are written in the order of atomic masses, then the atomic mass of the middle element seems to be roughly average of the other two elements' atomic masses. But he only managed to find three such triads based on similarities in properties. The first triad consisted of elements lithium, sodium and potassium. If you see, the atomic mass of lithium is 7 and that of potassium is 39. Now, the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of these two, that is lithium and potassium, is 39 plus 7 divided by 2, which is equal to 46 divided by 2, and this is equal to 23. And sodium, which is the middle element in this triad, has atomic mass, which is equal to 23. And as we saw, it is the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of lithium and potassium. The second triad consists of calcium, strontium and barium. Here, the atomic mass of calcium is 40 and that of barium is 137. Now, the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of these two elements is 40 plus 137 divided by 2 which is equal to 88.5. Also, strontium which is the middle element in this triad has atomic mass equal to 88 and as we saw it is approximately equal to the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of calcium and barium which is 88.5 and the third triad consisted of chlorine, bromine and iodine. Now chlorine has the atomic mass of 35.5, bromine is equal to 80 and for iodine it is equal to 88.5. If you see the mean of atomic masses of chlorine and iodine is equal to 35.5 plus 127 divided by 2 which is equal to 81.5 and this is approximately equal to the atomic mass of the middle element which is bromine and it is equal to 80. So we see Dobreiner only managed to find three such triads based on similarities in properties. Thus there were limitations to this. And what are the limitations? First of all, all known elements could not be arranged in form of triads. Secondly, the law failed for very low and very high masses. Lastly, as the techniques improved for measuring atomic masses accurately, the law could not remain strictly valid. So to sum up what we learned today, Dobreiner's law of triads states that 
when elements are placed in order of ascending order of atomic masses groups of three elements having similar properties are obtained and the atomic mass of the middle element is nearly the same as the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements that's all for now bye bye